What's up YouTube? You asked about the uh, game with OTB Red Baron, no one else but the man the myth. Let's go with that one. Uh, this is 5k turbo, OTB Red Baron, I think he doesn't really need uh, too much of an introduction. I don't know if his um, real name is revealed just yet, because I do know for a fact that it was... Um, undercover basically for a really long period of time okay so first hand in raising here on the button jack free suited super standard i'm gonna be raising pretty much everything on the button right now uh until i will see um, some adjustments from our opponent i just sat him in lobby so he's just uh probably running to a computer right now and okay he's here so firing a c bet on 94 this structure uh yep are gonna be firing pretty much a lot of the time in here and facing a check raise just snap folding i like that decision no point uh no point in my head in spewing uh already on the first hand okay queen seven nine uh, i'm gonna be check folding here most likely uh, especially versus that over bet uh c bet you've seen me that not like snap folded i was like okay what to make of that and then fold this is really important in my head always even if you get super snap decision think what your opponent is trying to do what he's trying to achieve because you might need that information in future hands Okay, King Ball. Uh, I like the option of betting in here. I missed it though and decided to go to a showdown. And this time I managed to uh, go ahead and uh, win that pot. Could end up otherwise because I would get raised over my second barrel if I would bet there. Okay, so as, as you guys can see, I don't really remember um, these games. It was played some time ago. Calling here versus that uh, biggish C bet, um, definitely standard. Again, I don't know uh, what he's doing it with just yet. A lot of the time, it's going to be strongish range. Okay. If we will see a bet in here, I wouldn't mind to go ahead and uh call check raising would be an uh, interesting option just to wrap a flash over there sure sure oh i'd say limp uh with a three nine okay that makes i mean i'd rather just go ahead and uh keep min raising to be honest until i will have reason not to No, man, I don't remember my own hands. That's sick. That's sick. Uh, defended with 4-3. Loosey-goosey, but that's all right. Uh, definitely going to be calling here in the structure. And I see myself leading a bunch of the time uh, here for a couple of reasons. First of all, I don't want to be in position where I'm just check calling. That sucks. Uh, second of all, uh, I will generate a fold equity with my bet. I'm willing. To, uh, I'm going to fold out better hands. And that worked in th that uh, in that hand. Okay, pocket ace on that structure looking extremely sweet. Bombing 45 and 120. This is my standard uh, C bet size. Okay, definitely firing second barrel in here. I like the idea of firing like 145. 135 will do the job, although I think that I could squeeze just a little bit more of value in here. King nine. I see myself defending here with that hand and beautiful two pairs. Beautiful two pairs. Let's see uh, what's gonna happen. I like the idea of checking on turn, letting uh, our opponent represent the ace, and I will check again here, most likely. Mm hmm. Okay. That's also an option. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. We're getting called by curious. Uh, nine x's that he can play like that sure since um with an over bet my value betting range is really narrow uh and he should understand that i 
he can't really have too many value hands in his range. That's why I'm pushing him out with an overbet. That makes sense. That makes sense to go ahead and overbet over there for sure. Either that or check and let your opponent fire a delay, delay C bet. These two options are fine with me. Okay, in the meantime, uh, we get a limped pot in here with queen seven. Okay, whoa, that's a nitty fault. <laughs> a lot of the time I would go ahead and call over there. Uh, but folding is fine. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I was about to say that with that queen four, given the, the how the, how everything is going, I wouldn't mind to squeeze a nice little four bet over there. Stack size wise, it would be sweet. Although I decided not to go crazy, and with this four here, I'm just giving up um, at this point. Oh, but right now I will definitely bet. My bet don't have to work super often. Yes, I hope I did. Okay, nice. Yeah, so firing here, uh, my bet basically don't have to work that often uh, to show profit. And uh, with four high, we're not winning <laughs> over there. So a lot of the time, that's uh, that's good enough reason basically to just go ahead and fire. Here, firing 45 into 120. Bam, taking it down. Looking with uh, staying on decent 2 to 1 uh, chip advantage right now. I think I, I do remember how that game ended, but I don't want to give you guys any spoilers. Isolink with King 10 in here. Okay, I don't mind it for sure. Uh, going for a pure value uh, pre. If I would know for a fact that an limp spots, he's bombing a lot of the time. I I see myself keeping that hand, uh, keeping that hand in checkback range to stay strong versus a lot of barrels. But as played, I will just iso and fold over there. Looks nitty, feels meh, but it is what it is. I don't think that at this point of a game he will construct a um, really nasty limp jamming range versus me to argue for calling over there with King 10. And here I will fold, uh, wanted to fire a delay on the structure. C betting gonna be probably arguably just a little bit better. Uh, since I can assume that OTB Red Banner isn't going to be probing a bunch into me. No, that's a nice little trap with Ace-8 over there. Oh man, oh man. I don't see myself folding. Yep, and ace deuce in here. Interesting, and chop chop it is. Chop chop it is, so the game continues. Eight and six, I don't see myself folding pretty much like never. Okay. And the option against Seabed gonna be either uh, go ahead and check raise or fold. I think I will have um, a lot of better check raising hands to be honest. Like at least something with a 10 uh, in my hand. Okay, and I didn't took the bite even versus the min stab. I like that. That I think that's so solid, solid fold. Okay, all good. Jack five. Uh, checking, checking in here. I don't think this is a um, spot where we're gonna face too many probes. That's why I decided to go ahead and fire a delay C bet. This is something that I incorporate in my game a lot of a lot of the time versus Rex, especially when we are readless. He really weird for him to uh, go ahead and probe in that spot. That's gonna be looking extremely valueish. But he went for a call. I stabbed on the turn uh, pretty much for value right now. And here I definitely see myself betting versus queen axis, which I think gonna be majority part of his range. That and couple of ace axis. Although we can exclude uh, a lot of ace axis actually because he would um, iso rise a shove pre and fired 55 and here targeting pretty much directly queen axis. And he went in for a 
tank and race in that spot and i love my i love my fold over there i think it's really solid because what are the chances that he's turning his queen axis into a bluff he'd rather just call with them so if he's not doing it with queen axis with decent enough frequency then hey come on come on what do you have sir you got a king right uh, either that or, or d6, which was giving the worst full house. Okay, he went for Izo, definitely calling with King Deuce in here. Okay, I, I think I, I won't fold here. 7x, mm, that's interesting. That is interesting, uh, I would say. Okay, and he fires 327. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't think I will fold in here, to be honest with you. Because I like, let's try to figure out how his uh, value betting range gonna be constructed. I mean, sure, uh, he's taking value from my queen axis, he's taking value from my draws. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I think the fold equity that he's gonna generate by that bet is really huge and he understands that. For that reason, I think that I will go ahead and call him here, to be honest. Okay. And at five, right now, I, I just don't think that he'll bluff pretty much like ever on that run out. So if he will jam in here, he get a value hand and he would be given up with his... um draws uh, that bricked because simply my range gonna look like queen x and seven x's right now mm, either that or like bricked flash draws so pretty much i think he gotta give up and this is good enough reason to go ahead and call over there on the turn also that's interesting, Ken. That's interesting, Ken. I'm curious, guys, what do you think about it? You can give me uh, give me uh, your mm, division about that hand in comments over there below. Okay, and here, gonna be sticking in for sure with Ace Queen, getting snapped by pocket eights. Uh oh, okay. Okay, so <laughs> basically, that's gonna be that. And, yep. Um, that was one a little game with OTB with Baron. Uh, couldn't win the flip uh, at the very end, but that's uh, that's how it's gonna be, you know, from time to time. Can't win them all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and check out other episodes of Playing with Legends that are on this channel. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes. Peace.